Hey YouTube, this is Pretty Sephora, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a quite a nice kind of uh, solar clip, solar clips over the Earth, just using um, an Earth map and a pretty neat plug, along with a pretty neat plugin. So you want to open up Photoshop, uh, you want to click File New. Well, actually, don't. Sorry, you want to open up the image. So I'm going to put a link in the description for this map. This one here. So once you've done that, you want to double click the background layer and type in background again just to make it the same sort of thing. Uh, so I want to go filter, flaming hair, flexify to. And um, yeah, this is the plugin. So you just simply want to. I'm going to put a link in the description for this plugin as well, so you can, and how to, I'm going to put like steps and how to kind of download it, so you want to put the input at equi rectangular and the output to orthographic, and you want to click OK, once done that, you want to wait for it to process, and yeah. Since it's not going to take too long, I'm not going to bother pausing the video. There you go. So once you've done that, you want to hold down control and press T. And you want to resize it down. Wait a minute. Okay, so once you've resized it, you want to Hold on control and click the background um, layer. Sorry, click the back, create a new layer icon to make a new layer underneath the current layer. Hold on, hold on, press backspace to fill that with black. You then want to uh, get your earth and you want to make a new layer. Control and click your earth and perhaps hold down, hold on, press backspace to fill it with black colour. And um, yeah, you want to resize your brush. Um, maybe 2,250 looks alright, or maybe just 2,000 looks even better. Oh, sorry, you want to do this for the um, rubber tool, the razor tool, not. The, um, what you call it? The, not the um, brush tool. So you want to do it in the middle first, and then you want to do it in one corner. Right, make sure it's just completely out of the dark, sort of thing. And you then want make sure, so once that's done, to hold, press V, Control, uh, duplicate it. Just to make sure it's completely black, black and black. Merge two layers and move it left and down. And then you want to hold on control, press T, and you want to resize it up and right and press enter. And that should look all cool. Merge it with your earth layer. Um, you then want to control click the new layer icon again. And Control and click the Earth layers, Earth unknown, and you want to get a blue colour, dark blue colour, but then make it light. This is going to be the atmosphere. Hold down Alt, press backspace to fill. Control and D. Then you want to go filter blur, Gaussian blur. So once you've done that, to uh, make it be 15. Yeah, 15 looks cool. Uh, you then want to get your razor tool again. You have to raise kind of down here. Just make sure it's erased kind of outside the black bit like that. I look alright. So once you've done that, you want to merge two layers again. Maybe you don't want to do that as 
kind of looks a bit crushed down there. Doesn't look very as nice, but you can do that if you want. So make another new layer. Uh, make uh, the foreground color black. Uh, fill it. Yeah, fill it. Um, you want to make the blend mode uh, linear dodge and go render lens flare. Put it kind of in the corner like that. Okay, so you want to kind of make sure you got it in the right position. So undo that and just play around with it a bit. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So, yeah, you can do that first. Then you want to hide that layer. And you want to control and click the new layer icon. And you want to control click the earth layer. And you want to get your brush tool. Make sure it's, it's at least a size of 500, maybe. Press X to swap your colour set to white and put it kind of here. And make sure that's overlay. Uh, yeah, so duplicate it again. Make another new layer. And you want to kind of half that, so 250. Put it here. That looks pretty nice. So once you're happy with that, you then want to. Make, you might want to also shift and click once you select layer four. Shift and click layer six, and then get your move tool. Move it kind of down here where the. Or maybe just leave it and then. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, just leave it. And once you're happy with that, you then want to. Uh, get your blur tool, so this one here, and you want to blur around this bit here. And it might take a long time to kind of process, so I'm just going to quickly pause it while it does that. Okay, uh, you then want to get your razor tool, and you want to kind of raise around half of it like that. And just get rid of that bit up here. Make sure you're happy with how it looks. And then we'll put the process again, so that, that should be alright. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you've got so far. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff to it, or you can just leave it like that. Uh, you might want to give your lens fire a, a color balance adjustment. Just so maybe make it a bit redder. Increase the green and the yellow. Just do it how you like it, I guess. Yeah, it's looking right. Just make it look like it's definitely the sun. So yeah, that's how you make a nice uh, solar sunset over the earth with the Photoshop. So remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.